Hi, my name is Tom Horden. I'm a professional organist here in the UK, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Keyboard Skills Pro. Here are my top 10 theatre organ hints and tips for first time players. Number one, research the organ. Okay, I get it. You're excited. Who wouldn't be? You're going to go and play your very first theatre pipe organ. Before heading out, however, do some research on the organ you're going to go and play, as this can be a big benefit. Don't be afraid to get in touch with the owner or the preservation group to ask questions about the organ. You'll often find them very friendly and very keen to encourage new players. Some good things to find out are the make of the organ, how many ranks of pipes and keyboards there are, the age, the condition and the venue. It's also worth asking about any special features or any current issues. The internet is a wonderful resource of information, but sometimes that can be out of date, so best to check with the organ's owners. Remember, no two pipe organs are alike. Number two, plan your performance. Whether playing at an open console session or just by yourself, you want to maximize your playing time. Another good idea is to plan your music program in advance. This way, you'll get the most out of your experience. Choose music you like and can play well. Try to include a variety of different tunes and styles. Remember, you'll be playing a new instrument to you. It'll feel different to what you're used to playing. By playing music you know, you can focus more on the organ. Number three, general console tips. Generally speaking, on a theater or cinema organ console, you'll find the following items. Two or more keyboards called manuals, a pedal board, normally 32 notes, radiating concave in design, tongue-shaped stop tabs arranged in a horseshoe shape, buttons called pistons for your hands and feet, one or more swell pedals, these control the volume of the organ, and one or more pipe chambers set away from the organ. Most organs you'll probably get to play will have either two or three keyboards. The larger consoles have four or five, there are even some with six. Take a few moments when you sit down to get comfortable, adjusting the bench to your preference and give your eyes a guided tour of the stops and controls. Rank is the term used to describe a set of pipes of a particular tone colour. Generally speaking, the more ranks a theatre organ has, the more pipes it has. More ranks can mean more tonal variety, but sometimes a small five rank organ can be just as fun and interesting to play as a 20 rank monster. Some pipe names you'll come across include tibia, string, vox humana, trumpet, kinura, violin, celeste, diapason, flute, kinura, and many others. In addition, a theatre organ contains percussion instruments such as tambourines, xylophone, and glockenspiel. But being these are standard in most instruments, the number of pipe ranks are usually used to describe the size of an organ. So, if someone tells you that the Wurlitzer organ you're going to play is a three manual, 14 rank instrument, it means it has three keyboards and 14 different sets of pipes. To learn more about ranks and stops on a theatre organ, check out my really cool theatre organ tuition video on this. Check in the description for the link. Stop layout. Most theatre organ consoles are standardised in design. This means when you go from one to another, most things are, generally speaking, in the same place. The stops to the left of the organ are normally the pedal stops. These work on the bass pedals. The lower keyboard is the accompaniment, and the stops for this keyboard are to the left in a 10 o'clock position. The second keyboard stops, either called the solo on a two manual organ, or the great on a three or more manual organ, will be at your one o'clock position. If you have a third keyboard, this is called the solo, these will be around to the right side of the console bolster sweep. The back rail contains other stops, most importantly the tremulants, which give us the wonderful rich vibrato the theatre organ is famous for. To learn more about the stops on a theatre organ, check out one of my theatre organ tuition videos. The link is below in the description. Enjoy it. Number six, pistons. Pistons can be a really useful thing on a first time theatre organ session. These push buttons can be made to memorize a preset mixture of stop taps. 
Normally, there will be a row of these beneath each keyboard. They're normally numbered starting with 1 and can go up to 5, 8, 10, depending on the instrument. A feature of Wurlitzer organs is that they often use musical volumes on the pistons, such as PP, MF and F, to give an indication of the level of sound. Number 7. Swell pedals. Normally, you'll find one or two of these. If two, put your foot part way over both in the centre. Pushing the swell pedal or pedals forward will gradually increase the volume of the organ by opening the swell shutters in stages which are built into the wall of the pipe chambers. Number 8. Which keyboards do I use? To start with, your left hand will need to be kept on the bottom keyboard. Remember, this is the accompaniment manual, and this is where you play your chords, arpeggios, your accompaniment for your music. Your right hand plays the melody on the next keyboard up. On a two manual organ, this is often referred to as the solo keyboard. If you have three keyboards, the middle keyboard is often called the great, and the solo moves up to the top third keyboard. You don't have to use the top keyboard. Remember, this is your first time playing a theatre organ. So if you feel more comfortable, just stick to the bottom two keyboards. Number 9. Expect the unexpected. Broadly speaking, most cinema organs are in good condition. Some might be home installations, and maybe not as quite as sharp as some instruments that are used regularly for concerts. Sometimes certain pipe ranks or items like the piano might be offline due to repair or restoration. You might encounter a stuck note or a pipe called a cipher. You might have an annoying fly buzzing around you, people chatting or other background noises. Uh, maybe the mayor might just pop in to pay you a special visit on your first time playing a theatre organ. <laughs> well, probably not likely. Whatever happens on the day, I'm sure you'll absolutely enjoy your first theatre organ experience. Number 10. Have fun and share the experience. I hope this little video has been really useful to you in helping you prepare for your very first theatre organ playing experience. Let me tell you, it's like nothing else you'll ever do. To this day, I remember my very first time, which was on a wonderful two-manual, ten-rank Wurlitzer Theatre organ. If possible, take photos and videos of the experience, but please do ask the owner's permission before doing so or posting on social media. Now to help out with this particular video, I've placed all this information in a free downloadable PDF. Check below in the description. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been useful. You might like to subscribe, please do hit that button. And if you'd like to support the production of more videos here on Keyboard Skills Pro, please do consider becoming a patron of mine on my Patreon page. The link is in the description. I'd also like to thank the following patrons for their support. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.